Hey, have you heard of this COVID thing? Apparently we're gonna get some time off of school. Oh wow, I could really use a break. I wonder how long it'll last. Ten months later, we've been holed up in our houses for so long that hours and days become meaningless and seem to slip right through our fingers. From the quiet streets to the empty classrooms, our world was put on pause for what seems like forever now. 2020 has truly been a year of loneliness, frustration, and self-reflection. Being so alone has been maddening. How can I even begin to describe how tired I feel all the time, or how much I just miss being outside and around people? These thoughts linger in our heads and make us forget to take care of ourselves. However, it is crucial that we focus on our health so that we may come out of this ready for the next step. But where do we even begin? Well, let's talk about the importance of something we often overlook, sleep. Who doesn't like waking up feeling refreshed and snug in your bed? It's the most relaxing and satisfying thing we can do to recover, but we don't even give it the respect that it deserves. Sleep is our body's natural reset button. It's a way for the body to take a break and process all of the information from our crazy, busy, everyday lives. Without that proper rest, your mind and body can get worn out, and you'll find yourself less productive than if you were to give yourself that time. In fact, did you know that staying awake for 24 hours gives you the same functionality as a blood alcohol content of 0.10%? Imagine how you would drive like that. Our minds are incredibly busy. Billions of neurons work around the clock to process all the information we need for that day. As a result, the energy that they use leaves behind a waste that we need to clean out. It is during our sleep that our brain's garbage truck comes around and disposes of it. The consequence of not cleaning this is believed to cause a myriad of neurodegenerative diseases. One bad night of sleep won't kill you, but years of improper rest can build up. A neat trait that humans developed over time is our circadian rhythms. It's essentially a clock in the brain that tells us when to sleep and when to be active. When we're in the sunlight, that tells our body it's time to be awake. On the other hand, dim lighting tells our brain to release melatonin, which signals the mind to begin preparing for sleep. It's not just our brain that follows this rhythm, but our entire body. Certain organs like the liver operate well during the day, but much less efficiently late in the night. Additionally, there are certain activities that we do that our bodies interpret as indicators of time, otherwise known as zeitgeist. This includes eating, drinking alcohol, or exercising, which tells our body that it's not time for rest. I think you can begin to see the problem with doing these things right before bedtime, because it throws off our body's natural rhythm. In fact, prolonged abuse of this rhythm can even lead to diabetes and obesity, since the body is not able to efficiently break down these foods we consume during the night. Not respecting your body's schedule can contribute to a ton of chronic diseases. So how do we avoid this and properly take care of ourselves with good sleep? Well, first we have to talk about sleep hygiene. Following that circadian rhythm is a great way to start, which means making an effort to go outside every day and getting a good amount of sunlight. Having consistency is also helpful for getting your body used to sleeping at a certain time. Another important aspect of sleep is our environment. This includes the time you set aside for rest and the mentality you have to be in to prepare for sleep. Being locked up in your room all day makes it hard to separate break time from work. Without this turn-off switch, it becomes hard to relax without something always lingering in the back of your mind. To avoid this, I like to make a routine for myself so that I can trick my body into winding down. Personally, I like to do some reading because it tires my eyes out. Some of you may already have something similar, like taking a hot shower or drinking a nice glass of milk, but the point is just to have something to put you in relaxation mode. Additionally, laying in your bed on your phone won't exactly help you fall asleep. Having that bright light shine on your face can give your body the impression that it's time to be active. Not reserving your bed for sleep can damage its reputation as a place for relaxation. And lastly, try not to nap during the day either. If you must, make sure you do it early in the day around noon to avoid having trouble sleeping at night. After a great night of rest, the next most important thing is to stay organized because your mind is all ready to go. Just make sure you can neatly organize your thoughts mentally and physically. I can't tell you how many quizzes and assignments I've missed because I didn't remember the dates they were due.
One amazing tip I have is to visualize your deadlines. This could mean having a planner or a calendar with due dates, or even post-it notes just to put up around your workspace. The most important thing is to have something to refer to as a visual reminder of what needs to get done. In cognitive science, we call this scaffolding. By allocating your brain's function to external tools, you're effectively clearing the clutter from your mind and physically organizing it. The takeaway for this video is to listen to your body and prioritize your health. Be sure to make time for the things that you love and to let yourself take breaks. Don't let this quarantine stop you from trying new things either. No matter how bad it gets, just remember that this is only temporary.